Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class, guys. I'm Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of Azure Administrator, and uh, as we discussed in our previous session, this is a uh, time to understand about the concept of uh, multi-factor authentication and SSPR. So, recap about our previous session. So, in last session, I described about. Uh, uh, how we can manage Azure AD join. We successfully added our on-premises Windows 10 machine to Azure Active Directory portal. And also we configured our BitLocker, how we can save the BitLocker keys from on-premises Windows 10 machine to Azure Active Directory portal. Now it's time to understand about some more securities related to uh, Azure Administrator. So let me describe you about the concept of these two important points. SSPR and multi-factor authentication because it's really important for us. It's mandatory for every uh, administrator. So you should know about how to protect the environment, how to protect our organization. So as per the name suggest, if we talk about multi-factor authentication, so MFA can give us a second layer of security. If you want to protect your user from another security, then MFA can help us. And uh, talk about the uh, SSPR. So SSPR, as per the name suggests, self-service password reset, right? The meaning of self-service password reset, user able to manage our own password by self. No need to coordinate to administrator, user able to reset our own password. So we will discuss each and everything. Like, so let's talk about the multi-factor authentication first. Azure MFA, the agenda is to understand about the concept of Azure MFA and second important part is SSPR. This is our agenda and we'll try to understand each and everything. We'll discuss about the procedure means practical and theoretical part as well. So MFA is a type of multi-factor authentication, right? You can say that it's a two-way uh, authentication. With the help of multi-factor authentication, we are able to uh, create second layer of security. Create second layer of security. Because you know that username and password easily anyone can uh, guess this is your user ID and password and they are able to access the user account. But talk about the multi-factor authentication. It gives us option to set a OTP, you can say that you can configure multi-factor authentication using Microsoft Authenticator app as well. So we have a both way to configure our multi-factor authentication. And second important part, we will discuss about SSPR. So SSPR is a self-service password reset. In this case, we are able to set a SSPR for our active active user. And after that, user able to access our password, user able to reset our password by self self-service right password reset this is the agenda so i'm going to show you the proper practical so let's move ourselves to the azure active directory portal and this is the panel of azure ad i'm just going to click on create new user type any user you it's a fully depend upon you you just need to provide the information about your users so I wanted to create a user with name of GCP and I have already added a domain with name of gluecreation.com. So GCP at the rate gluecreation.com GCP. And uh, let me check our password. Just copy the password information. No need to do anything. Click create. Done. We successfully created one pa a user with name of GCP at the rate gluecreation.com. I'm just going to log in it without the MFA and after that we'll configure the multi-factor authentication. Type portal.azure.com. It will redirect you on the page of Azure portal gcp at the rate gluc creation.com right. Paste the password that you copied and it's a first login so you must need to reset your own password. Okay just need to type here I'm going to proceed uh, my own password and sign in. And sign in. Sorry. We successfully reset the password.
done our responsibility to protect our user with the help of multi factor authentication and after that we'll also discuss about the concept of sspr means self service password reset skip setup i don't want to configure right now so what we need to do if you want to activate the sspr and multi factor authentication back to the root account root account in the sense the portal this is our azure portal administrator account over our administrator panel we are able to find one option per user mfa select verify the login and we are able to find two different users are available one is my root account and this one is our active active user select your user and click enable enable the multi factor authentication we successfully enable it back to the incognito wizard and let's try to log in it again because we want to configure multi factor authentication so i'm just going to configure mfa so to configure the mfa open portal.azure.com select your username gcp at gloop creation dot com <coughs> provide your password next it will redirect you on the page of uh, multi factor authentication so uh yes i wanted to configure multi factor authentication click next next again you need to scan this qr code to download or you can also directly download the microsoft uh, authenticator app right so i'm just going to download the microsoft authenticator app and scan this qr code fine so after that you just need to scan it fine so we successfully scan it click next and you you will receive a code accept and denied like this so i'm just going to press approve Once you press approve your authentication is configured successfully click next This is second method and in second method what we need to do select your contact number so i'm just going to provide my own contact detail click next and it will text you one code next we successfully configured multi factor authentication for this particular user this is the way to activate the multi factor authentication now you are able to secure your user from two layer of security means whenever you try to log in you mean must need to provide password and after that approval from your authenticator app and also it will ask you the otp numbers So definitely I hope you all if you understand about the concept of uh, multi factor authentication let's talk about SSPR it's a really basic understanding about SSPR the prerequisite for SSPR you must need to contain at least active directory p2 license so I'm just going to check my p2 license select license all product so I have already activated p2 license this is premium 2 license this license can help us to protect our user and these license can help us to activate the sspr service for any user the another prerequisite for sspr you can say that the another another requirement for sspr is correlated to you can say that uh, 
which is help us to manage uh, 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 security uh, means uh, uh, before configure the sspr service you must need to activate the multi factor authentication just need to click open your user and in the user panel we are able to find reset password click here and what we need to do we must need to select all right or you can select a, a selected group so if you want to activate for the particular group particular user you must need to add the user into the group and activate another option you can activate for entire user so i wanted to activate for the entire user select all to activate the sspr service for entire user that's it no need to do anything back to the portal gcp user that you created sign out it and try to reset password by self select user next and we are able to find one option forgotten my password click here provide the captcha information click next it will redirect you on page of reset password this is your contact number ended with 12 so you need to provide your contact detail that you use for the multi factor authentication right so i'm just going to proceed with next it will be text you one six digit code again okay and click next it will redirect you on new page where we can set the password for your user this is new page where we can configure the password new password for our gcp user so guys this is all about sspr and multi factor authentication i hope you all of you understand about the procedure how to manage the sspr and multi factor so this is all about for today's class we'll connect soon in next video and discuss more about the uh, azure administrator based content do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we are on page of our scheduling so thank you and please do subscribe take care guys bye bye